Welcome to the Helix Control-M Automation API Getting Started video. In this video, we will learn about the Automation API and how to get started using it. You can access Control-M by CLI and REST API using Automation API. Control-M Automation API is a set of programmatic interfaces that provide developers and DevOps engineers access to the capabilities of Control-M within the modern application release process. Let's assume you want to define a new job, run it, and monitor it, all from the CLI. To do so, we'll download and install the automated API CLI and configure the environment by creating a token. Then, from the CLI, we'll build, deploy, and run a simple job and view the status and output from the job. To use CLI, you must have the Automation API plugin installed. To install the plugin, access Configuration, then Plugins, Install Plugin, and with Automation API selected, follow the on-screen steps. The standard installation on Linux or Windows installs the CLI along with all prerequisite software. After installing, we can start using Automation API in the command line. Open the command line by clicking the Start button, and then type CMD. Click your installation by typing CTM in the CLI. If your installation is correct, you should see the CTM help. To add your environment back in the GUI, you can follow the instructions in the section Configuring a SAS environment in the CLI. We will need to run this API command. Let's copy the command then we paste it to the CLI. I will change the name of the environment. Instead of My Environment, I will call it Control-M Demo. We need to replace API token value with a real token. For that, we have to generate a token, and to do so, we will go to Configuration, open a new API token tab, and click Add Token. You can put any token name. Then we click Generate. To use the token, you can click Copy Token Key. Then we paste the token that we copied into the CLI command and press Enter. Now, the environment Control-M Demo was created. To use this environment, we type CTM Environment Show. We can see that there is only one environment, Control-M Demo, and that is my current environment. Now we are ready to run jobs. I have a JSON file containing a simple folder and job. The job prints the string, Welcome to AAPI. This is the contents of the JSON file. Let's start by building the job. Building the job validates that the job is written correctly. We will use CTM build control M demo job dot JSON. I see that everything is okay. Next, we deploy, meaning check in the folder using the deploy command ctm deploy control m demo job dot json. Deploy also performs a validation before the check in, meaning if I skip build, it will nevertheless validate the job before deployment. Now, let's run the job using ctm run. This command builds, deploys, and runs the job. The CLI returns the run ID. Now we can use the run ID to check the status of the job. We run CTM run status and copy and paste the run ID. I can see the status of two objects, each with a job ID. The first object is the folder, and the second is the job inside the folder. We can now use the job ID to inquire about the log and the output of the job. Let's check the output of the job. Remember that my command was to do echo welcome to AAPI. Let's check the output by running ctm run job output get and then copy and paste the job ID. I can see the output welcome to AAPI. We also see some statistics. This concludes Helix Control M Automation API Getting Started video. In this video, we downloaded and installed the Automation API CLI and configured the environment with a token. 
Then, from the CLI, we built, deployed, and ran a simple job. And then finally, viewed the status and output of the job. Thank you for watching this video.